Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. We've got baseball on the 4th of July between the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs and the Rochester Red Wings. So striding in, Phil Gosselin. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Here now the two two. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Ready now, Odubel Herrera. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Odubel. One out, nobody on. A little bit outside. Two and one. Too high that time, and it's three and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Yanked on the ground down the line. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Hit down the line at first. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Pitch is popped up. Maggi in foul ground. He dives, but he can't make the catch. It's a foul ball. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. That is third. Ronald Torre is the next to bat. Ronald Took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. One and one, here it is. Two and two. Three and two now. We could see the runner in motion here on a three two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. The third baseman, Alec. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. And it's fouled away. The two two one more time. He is swung on and missed strike three. Digging in, Kyle Garlick. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. Kyle Garlick. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Settling in now, Nick Gordon. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Hit out towards second. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. At the plate, Drew Maggi starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. There goes Gordon. High in the air out towards shallow right. Matu is over a few steps as he puts it away for the first down. On to first, and they get the double play. 
So here's Jake Cave to the plate. His solo shot accounted for their only score of the ball game a night ago. 1-1. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw in time, and the side is retired. And that'll bring up Mikey Mato. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Into the box now, Austin Listy. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Digging in, Andrew Knapp. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Line drive snagged on a short hop. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Alex Kirilov. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. To one and two now. Here's the pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Herrera on the run. But he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And this will bang up against the wall. And he is in to third with a leadoff triple. Into the box now, Trevor Larnick. And he turned to the slider here, and it just misses. Two and one now. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Popped him up. Now is there. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Coming to the plate now, Xander Wheel. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Wheel. A one one. In the air to center. Chasing after it is Herrera. He's there to make the catch, and here comes the runner from third, as this should get him on the board. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1 0. Standing in, Brent Rooker. Base is empty and two gone following the sacrifice fly. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Stott is there and the side is retired. Leading off the inning, Bryson Stott as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. He pulls this one into right. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first down. Digging in for his second at bat, Phil Goslin. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Swing and a little blooper to center. Base hit, and they're into the hit column. Now back, the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. In now, Odubel Herrera. Inside and low, two and one. Three and one. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a 3-1 count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone, or do you just pitch around them? Lifted down the line and left, and this will wind up a foul ball. Now perhaps sensing he's going to look to first. Runner's back. Three-two pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second. Oh, 
and he can't come up with it. Throw in time at first for rock number two. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Ronald Torayan, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. The 2-2 pitch. He stays alive, still 2-2. Two and two. Two and two. Here it is. Okay. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. The payoff pitch. Hard hit ball to second. But right there is the second baseman, and that will retire the side. At the plate, Travis Blankenhorn as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Now the three and two pitch. Popped him up. And there's your first out of the inning. Now batting, Brian Jeffers. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Slap hard the opposite way. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Into the box, Nick Gordon. Nope. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. The second for one. On to first. And for the second time in three innings, they've bounced into a double play. And with this one, the side is retired. So here's the cleanup hitter, Alec Bone, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. And facing right-handed pitching so far this season, Bone hits a little over the 270 mark. Off-speed pitch misses here, and he runs it to three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Sliding into the box, Kyle Garlic. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to 1 and 2 now. Pitch on the way. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. At the plate, Mikey Matza looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Sliced hard on the ground. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. Stepping up now, Drew Maggi. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Late square, and this is popped up, and he'll lunge forward to take this ball in the air. So quick instincts there will foil the bunt attempt. Coming to the plate now, Jake Keir. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Hit in the air to right field. And this is hauled in just shy of the track out there for out number two. Trying to pick Go things back. up where we left Go off. Right Alex Kirillov. He scored after tripling Kirilov. in his first plate appearance. What's he got in store for us here? And it's two balls and two strikes now. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high. Three and two. Hit hard on the ground towards second. 
throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Austin Listy. The 1 1 is laid off for ball two. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. The 2 2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Great AB up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. And he fouls this one off. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Digging in the switch hitter, Andrew Now. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. It's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll to. Hit sharply on the ground. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Stepping into the box, Bryson Stott hit it hard but lined out in his first half bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. This is back toward the mound. Oh, no, he can't hold on to it. And they still managed to get an out on the play. Whoa. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Phil Goslin. He singled his last time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Gordon's got it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. At the plate, Trevor Larnick, 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Yeah, this one's going to upset him for a little bit. You make the pitcher work the way he did right there, and that's the end result. That one sticks with you for a while. And he lays off again, ball three. Time to wake up the offense right here. Three one count, all in on something over the heart of the plate. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. The first baseman. Into the box well. now. Xander Wheel. He hit a sack fly earlier. Wheel. Still two and two. Here's a look over to first. Here's another 2 2. Larnick aboard here at first with nobody out. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Digging in, Brent Rooker. He flew out in his last at bat. Now the one and one pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Gone. He finds the short porch for a home run. So now to the plate, Travis Blankenhorn. Slapped hard the opposite way. But quick hands over there at third as he takes it for the second out. Stepping in, Ryan Jeffers. He reached on a single in his first try. The 1-1. One, one. You know, he was really pounding the strike zone early on, but he's kind of gotten away from that here a bit. He might just need a little reminder to attack hitters and trust his stuff. Even count two balls and two strikes. Line towards center field. That's in another base hit. He's two for two. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two-out base hit. Stepping in now, Nick Gordon. Hit hard, but this is a foul ball. Here now the 2-2. Grounded softly to the right. 
He's got it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Ball set for the start of the inning, and standing in the outfielder, Odubel Herrera. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. This is on the ground over to first. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And there is some stick to it of this as they still manage to get the out at first. What a play. Now at the plate, Ronald Torres. The 1 1 home. Hit the other way out toward right field. Kirillov is there, two down. So coming to the plate, Alec Bone. He comes in 0 for 2 Alec. thus far. Bone. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hard ground ball to third, and that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. Now back, left fielder, Kyle Garland. At the plate now, Kyle Garland. Easy take there as the off-speed pitch misses well inside. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. The 2-2. Liner towards second. Well, this will be pulled in out there at second base, and that'll be that. Get your water here. So stepping in, Drew Maggi. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Popped up. Torres waits on it. One down. Ready for another chance. Jake Keir. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. On the ground to the left side. On to first and there were two down. Now in the box, now Alex Kirilov. The a field. hit in two tries for Alex. him so far. Kirilov. Two out, nobody on. This is pulled into right. Matuk is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. So digging in now, Mikey Matsu. He's hitless in the game, as is much of the rest of his team. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. Hey, it's tough when your team is being held scoreless on the scoreboard. He was trying to put him on the board with a swing like that one. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Stepping now in, Austin Listy. It was a walk Austin in his last trip. Listy. One out, nobody on. Count remains full. Another full count pitch home. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. Ready once again. Andrew Knapp will swing it from the left side right here. Yeah. One of the things this guy would like to do from the left side is swing it a little bit better against right-handed pitching. This guy has decent numbers, but not great numbers against right-handed pitchers. Juan Manaya will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seventh. Bryson Stott will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. Now a 
fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. Christopher Sanchez will come on now to make his 30th appearance of the year so far. Next will be the designated hitter, Trevor Larnick. A little roller toward the hole. Scooped up. And a good throw gets him one gone. Striding in, Xander Wheel. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Well below the knees, laid off on the change up there. 3 1 is a fastball, and he can't connect 3 and 2. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one, so so now we've got a battle on our hands. Holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. Now at the plate, Brent Rooker comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Yeah, Matt, that last at bat, that was a pretty good pitch. A fastball down and away that he went out and hooked and pulled it. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm going to have to think about throwing one up and in and standing this guy up to make that outside corner not as appealing. Two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Smoked on the ground up the middle. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. Now back. Standing in now, Travis Blankenhorn. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. On, he pops it up. Stott ranges back, and he has it for route number two. Now to the plate, Ryan Jeffers. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. Two men are on with two men out. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Striding forward now is the DH, Phil Goslin. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Ready on three and one. Here it comes. Bounce to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Odubel Herrera to the plate now. He was a ground out victim last time up. Herrera. The 1-1 one, one home. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Hey, you want someone sometimes to rattle the bat rack, but also the guy on the mound's got to eat, too. They're executing their pitches out there. It's going to be tough to score some runs. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Great job by the pitcher right there to put him in the proverbial rocking chair. Slowed him down, sped him up, slowed him down. Let's see where he's going now. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. Now that second base, Ronald Torreya. Into the box now, Ronald Torreyes. Slapped hard the opposite way. In there, a base hit. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The batter, the third baseman, Alex Cole. At the plate, Alec Bone. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. And a 2-1 slider is looked at for a called strike two. Two 
two and two count. Here it comes. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Kyle Garlick, who represents the possible go-ahead run here, waits in the on-deck circle. Fouled off. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Left fielder is on the move. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Matt Wisler enters the ball game out of the pen looking now for the final out here in the top of inning number Kyle eight. Garlic. Kyle Garlick will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Good take there to lay off the high fastball. Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitchers falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. And that is down for extra bases as this will get one home and maybe two. And the runner is in from second. And he's in safely at third as they also score a pair of runs on the play. Right fielder, Mikey. Into the box, Mikey Matsu. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Strike three, and the potential tying run left on base as the inning is over. So the lineup flips over, and digging in, Nick Gordon. Now the payoff pitch home. And here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning. Now that it ready for another shot now. Drew Magic. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. Fouled away. Hit on the ground to third. Fielded cleanly. And there's out number two. Into the box, Jake Kane. And he's over in this one, batting out of the three spot. Swung on and driven to right, and no doubt about it. Looking up is the right fielder, and that's a home run into the top tank. To the plate now, Alex Kirilov. Two and one. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called and the inning is over. Stashak comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 61, Cody. Digging in now, Austin Listy. No hits to this point. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. The count now at two and one. Now here it comes. Two and two. They really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Now so back. striding forward now, Andrew Knapp. He started out the yeah. evening 0 for 2 so far. The 1 2. Swing and a liner towards second. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag and he's safe at first. 
Now batter. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And stepping up is the shortstop, Bryson Stott. Working for the punch out and the offering. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Phil Gosling. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Now the one and one pitch. And it's fouled away. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Pulls this one in the air out to left. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. Now is on his way home. And the runner will score from first. He's safe at the plate. And that ties the ball game in the top of the ninth. The center fielder. So now to the plate, Odubel Herrera turned on down the line. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. Zach Littell has been summoned here and will try to keep now this one tied heading to the bottom of the ninth. Standing in now, Ronald Torres. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Woo! Strike, two called, and it's even at two. Love the fact the pitcher challenged him in that spot right there. Didn't love the location. But I got to be honest with you, I think he's got him on his heels right now. Don't be shocked if he attacks his own again. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Stepping into the box, Trevor Larnick. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. This one's flared out toward left. Left fielder coming in. He can't get to it. This one's down. At the plate now, Xander Wheel. Line drive to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Throw comes into the infield, and the winning run moves up to second now with nobody out. Anthony Swarzak will come out and take the ball here as he'll be making his 15th appearance of the year. At the plate, Brent Rooker. Two balls and a strike. Possible winning run on second. No one out. All even now, two and two. Now this is lined into right center. He comes through. Larnick rounds third and is striding for home. And they're going to walk off here with a 5-4 win. Always great when a game really comes down to the ninth inning like it did here. They had a chance to walk it off and send their fans home happy, and that's exactly what they did. Lots of smiles around here right now. Every game has its offensive stars, and in this one, he arguably shined the brightest. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he delivered when it mattered most with the walk-off base hit, so better get his recognition. I just hope his guys didn't pummel him too hard when they went out there celebrating on the field. The 
This evening's game comes to an end. 5-4 the final tally. The Red Wings with their 50th team win tops in the division. Zach Littell gets the win in relief his sixth of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score. First for the victorious Red Wings. Five runs, ten hits, one error. They left four men on base. For the Iron Pig, four runs, seven hits, no error. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 19 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please...